answers. That's what we all want during these unsettling times. And so I took many of your questions about the coronavirus sent to us via social media to our experts, our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres, and science contributor Joseph Fair, who is both an epidemiologist and virologist. Hi, Lester. This is Todd from Boston. Not everyone is dying from the coronavirus. Can you tell us what happens to people after the virus? Are they fine? Do they go back to work? Are there any residual effects? Thanks very much. And if I could add on to that, are you immune then? So for the largest number of people, they're just gonna recover fine like they do from a cold and just go back to work, go on with their regular lives. For some people, especially if they start getting that lung damage, they can get lung issues that are gonna be lifelong for them and so that's a big problem. Because this virus is new to science and new to humans, we have no idea how long immunity is gonna last. Usually it's transitory for a month or two, but it could be longer, it could be shorter. Until we have the science, we won't know. But not like, like the chicken pox, for example, you get it once and you're done. We don't know if that's going to happen or not. We think it's going to be a little more short term, but we're not sure. Barbara Briggs of Cabot, Pennsylvania. What can I expect if I get the virus and what is the treatment? Is, is there a treatment? So right now there is no treatment. There's experimental treatments they're using, but for people who are critically ill, they're trying those. So not in the general population. For most people, you're just going to get what seems like a cold and you'll get through that very quickly. For some people, it might be more severe cold and you might start getting that shortness of breath. And that's the key when you need start to start talking to your doctor if you're having difficulty breathing because that's when it could turn dangerous. Oh, Over-the-counter medications, uh, water? Uh... You want to stay hydrated. You want to get as much rest as possible. If you start having fevers, especially low-grade fevers, just take the fever medications we typically talk about, acetaminophen and ibuprofen, to try and help keep it under control. Let me take the opportunity to ask my own question. Every night we talk about the numbers of confirmed cases. Those are not people sitting in hospitals. Those right. are not all people, correct me if I'm wrong, those are, those are some of those people have recovered and are fine. I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions and we don't do a good enough job explaining it as scientists and physicians. You know, when we hear numbers like 130,000 people have, are in, infection, total infections, most people think there's a currently 130,000 people lying in hospital beds around the world dying of this disease. More than half have recovered, another 30 to 40 percent of those will recover and go home and be fine. Some important facts and perspective on what can feel very scary for a lot of us. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.